Dr. Mutri, first of all, welcome and tell us why this is a game changer. All right, so first of all, thank you so much for, uh, for the invitation, uh, for this opportunity to talk to, uh, to people and explain the research. So um, it is something that um, uh, we started a couple of years ago and uh, probably uh, the research can come back like 2006, 2007 when there was a, a, a researcher from Japan who actually discovered how to turn one type of cell in a different type of cell. That's what we call reprogramming, uh, cellular reprogramming or genetic reprogramming. So it turns out that this is uh, so effective that um, this researcher, Shine Yamanaka, he ended up uh, winning the Nobel Prize in 2012. So what we did, we actually we took advantage of, of his research on turning different cell types and um, we applied to uh, autism research. So for a long time, what we wanted to do was uh, to have um, uh, autistic cells or uh, brain cells derived from autistic kids in a dish so we could compare to brain cells derived from non-autistic kids and, and start uh, researching and looking what's the difference between these two cell types. And uh, we did that and we find out that uh, there are differences. That was uh, the biggest uh, surprise or the first surprise. Um, the brain cells derived from autism, they are smaller and they make less connections. When uh, brain cells communicate with each other, uh, they establish these connections that we call synapses. And that's how the signal is passed through one cell to the other. Um, so uh, autistic-derived cells, they don't make as many connections as uh, cells derived from, from uh, a typical developing uh, person. Um, the second surprise was when we ask ourselves, can we do something about it? Can those uh, brain cells that already form these connections uh, be stimulated um, to, uh, to reestablish more connections? And that's when we start applying experimental drugs on, on, on these cells in a dish, in the lab. And it turns out that there are drugs out there that could uh, reverse or, or making those autistic brain cells behave like normal cells again. So that show us or, or prove to us that those cells, these brain cells, are so plastic um, that they cannot, um, uh, I cannot accept anymore this idea that um, this condition is permanent. Mm -hmm. But if we do find um, uh, a chemicals or small molecules that can actually penetrate in the brain and start to induce the cells to make more connections, maybe we could, we could ameliorate or could reverse the condition. So that's, in a nutshell, that's what we did. Well, and it's so exciting. And of course, we're going to ask you some more questions about this. But if is there a place, a website that people can go if they want to look at some of the research that you guys have already done? Yeah. So um, uh, if you just type my name, Alison Watery Lab, you're going to find um, a, a, a page for my lab. I also have a Facebook page where I keep updating regarding the research and how to participate. So both, both, both things are I'm kind of my name is kind of unique. So if you Google that, uh, you're going to find everything about myself.